All right, here inside the world famous Mayweather Boxing Club with my best friend Jeff Mayweather. I ain't your best friend. You're my best friend. <laughs> You're my best friend. All right. Anyway, uh, big fight this weekend. Anthony Joshua gets knocked out by Daniel Dubois. Thoughts on that incredibly entertaining fight? Um, it was a little surprising. Um, I had I had Joshua a favorite, but um. After seeing what Joshua said, it kind of like turned me against him right immediately when he said what he said and did. He got knocked out right after that. Yeah, I mean, I, you give credit for, I guess, Joshua always being willing to trade, but man, that's, you know, when he loses, that's that's usually uh, what does him in. Say it again? Nothing. <laughs> so. <laughs> So Dubois has been on a bit of a career resurgence, right? So he was, you know, a hot prospect coming out. Then he, you know, lost to Joe Choice and other things. And, and people are like, well, maybe this guy's not so great. Uh, Joshua seems like he's been on a roller coaster, right? He was the greatest thing ever. Then people lost confidence in him. Then he was the greatest thing again. Um, do you think this is a case of, you know, maybe Dubois is better than we thought or Joshua's not as good as we thought? Um, it could be a little bit of both, but it's probably... Joshua not as good as we thought. I mean, he's an Olympic gold medalist, and of course, the expectations of an uh, Olympic gold medalist is, you know, is, the stakes are very high. And um, of course, he's he's been champion, so I mean, he's reached that he reached that part of it. But actually, most of the time, when a guy wins an Olympic gold medal, he wins the title and he keeps it he keeps it for a long time. But, well, um, what would you know about that? I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of gold medals with oh, okay. with a fucking world title oh, around okay. their belt for me, a long me too. around their waist for a long time. Me too. Of course you have. You, you, <laughs> you, 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 you've seen anybody with a belt. <laughs> I got a belt right on my pants. <laughs> yeah, and, and your pants are sagging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but so you you look at Joshua his you know his best wins you know what against a Klitschko well past his prime. You know, but he's beat, who else did he beat? He beat, you know, Joseph Parker, Andy Ruiz, you know, great fighters. But, you know, if we're being honest, most people don't rank them as a top of the top. You know, of course, two losses to Usyk, nothing to to be ashamed of. But, you know, he, he's he's not really fought or had that signature win that, that makes people, to me, think that, you know, he should be the best fighter in the world. Um, I mean, that's true. I mean, that's true. I mean, well, I mean, at the time, I mean, I guess... Getting a win over 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 Klitschko would be considered his signature win because he was mm-hmm. still young. He was still young at the time, and but I guess and, it still would be though, right? Yeah, it still would be because I mean it's the biggest name of, mm-hmm. of the out of guys he fought he, that that he beat. Right. So where does this guy go from here? I mean, well, well let's speak of this. So so one thing they they try to drag out this this Fury and Joshua fight. You know, for years and years and years, and they just every time they just keep stepping on their foot more and more. It seems like, you know, it's both of them are you know racking up the losses now. Did they wait way too long for this fight? <laughs> I think so. I think that I think when right after Tyson Fury beat Deontay Wilder the second time, I think that's when the fight should have happened. I think that it was it had more significance then. But now, I mean, both of them. You know, don't look that don't look that great. I mean, but it's the heavyweight division, so anybody can win a heavyweight title at any time. I mean, if if you land the right punch. Do you think that fight needs to get made still, just for the British? I mean, I think that for the for the Brits, yeah, they, I think they'll still love that fight. How do you see it going? I, I just don't. I just don't. I don't see the the magnitude that it would have though that that it used to have. Do you think Fury and Dubois would carry that same kind of interest? Um, I think it. I think it. It, it, it would be very interesting. I mean, he just knocked out. He just knocked out Anthony Joshua. So yeah, I mean, he's put himself in a position where, you know, I mean, now people are going to think that Dubois is a guy that he's he's actually put himself in that in that position. Do you do you, do you favor Fury against either or neither um, or both or? I mean, I would, I would favor Fury, but at the same time, I don't really know, because Fury took so much damage from 
Deontay, and he's not the same fighter either. So don't know which which Fury's going to show up. Well, we know boxing math doesn't work, but you do have at least one comparison, right? Fury against Usyk again, and then Joshua against Usyk. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, the thing is, is that basically, but Tyson Fury is, is not the same fighter. He's not the same fighter at all, and I don't think that, you know, I think that I would have picked him to beat Dubois, to beat Joshua, beat almost anybody in that division. And I even picked him to beat Usyk, but he didn't have nothing left. He's not the same fighter anymore. Are you still the same fighter you were, Jeff? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Thanks. <laughs>